Greetings from my quiet space. I pray that you will recognize and receive God's amazing blessings on your life today. We continue to pray for those who need prayer support. If that's you, please send your request to Gloucester at salvationarmy.org.uk. Last week, we were thinking about the children returning to school and the incredible adjustment that families would be experiencing. If your family was involved, I do hope that everything is going well for you. Be assured that many people are praying for you. I watched the young children who live near us and it was very obvious that they were super excited at returning to school. The older ones seemed to be rather subdued or maybe the face coverings simply obscured their relieved faces. I can only imagine the mixed emotions of excitement and nervousness. Our children and teenagers really need our prayers and encouragement, as do their parents. How I pray that they will understand the perfect peace of God in their lives, especially when they feel those bubbles of apprehension. Last Sunday, the secular world marked Mother's Day, a day which for some of you will have been exciting, whilst for others it will have been painful. Last Sunday also recognised Mothering Sunday, a day within the Christian calendar when people would traditionally return to their mother church for worship. This reminder and the children returning to school set me thinking about the wonderful day when we'll be able to return to our spiritual home, our church. For me, it will be Gloucester Salvation Army. I recognise my emotions as being that of excitement at the prospect of seeing my friends and experiencing the corporate worship, which I've desperately missed. But I was also surprised to realise that the prospect of a return to church raised two further emotions, that of nervousness and apprehension. What will it be like? Will it still feel like home? I had to still myself in God's presence and ask him to take control of my mind and give me his peace. My thinking progressed further. I considered those, and you could be one, who have been away from church for a while, but during this period of lockdown, God has been speaking to your heart and has stirred within you the desire to return to your church. I really want to encourage you to make this desire known to someone you trust to encourage you. You may well feel apprehensive, but I believe that you will be made very welcome. After all, we're going to all be like newbies together. Please don't feel afraid. Fear can prevent us from doing so very much. This morning, my husband Paul and I read this in our daily reading together, and I quote, So what is the answer to fear? Faith in God. Fear weakens, but faith strengthens. Fear imprisons, but faith liberates. Fear paralyzes, but faith empowers. Fear disheartens, but faith encourages. Fear sickens, but faith heals. It's been said that the words fear not are recorded in scripture 366 different times. If that's so, God has given us a fear not for every day of the year and one for leap year. So I take this opportunity to share a precious fear not for you to take with you. It's a promise that God made to Joshua, but also makes to us. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And may you experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your heart and mind as you live in Christ Jesus.